you ever get a chance to come to Japan, please interact with Japanese people more. Like I said, have an open mind, try out different things because the culture uh, is very rich, it has a long tradition and a long history. Uh, it's not similar to India, but it's something worth trying out. Hello brothers, my name is Shogo and he is uh, from India. Shreyas. Yes, yeah, Shreyas. Um, yeah, actually we are now in Japan and uh, today I want to, you know, uh, have some uh, talk about life in Japan uh, and also I want to ask him to, you know, about life in Japan, how, how does he live and something like that. Yep. Uh, Alright, so the first question is uh, why did you come to Japan? Uh, like, what purpose? Yeah, uh, I came to Japan on a scholarship okay. uh, which is funded by the MEX, which is the Ministry of Education of Japan. Mm -hmm. And I won that scholarship and I came here for one year to study at Saitama University, right. which was my first. Mm -hmm. Which was the first time I came to Japan as an adult. So, why, why did you join that, like, the program? Uh, well, I had been studying Japanese uh, since two and uh, three years at that time, mm -hmm. and I, I obviously, since I was studying Japanese, I wanted to come to Japan and study mm -hmm. to further my uh, knowledge of Japanese and to improve my Japanese and to actually experience how Japan as a country is. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually had been to Japan when I was a kid, mm -hmm. uh, when I was two to three years old, and I also right. lived for two years. Uh, my father used to work in Japan, but I don't rec have any recollections mm -hmm. of that since I was a kid. So that's why I wanted to come to Japan because I was learning the language and I also wanted to see how the country is and experience it for myself. Okay. Like, uh, how, how did you practice your, you know, the speaking skill, like, in, in Japanese? Uh, before coming to Japan, uh, after class, me and my friends used to talk in, converse in very, very poor Japanese. Like, uh, all of us couldn't speak Japanese. And the most... Did you go to language school? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, but I used to learn Japanese at a language school mm -hmm. uh, called TMV uh, in Pune, uh, where I live, okay. which is my hometown, actually. And we used to, after class, me and my friends used to get together and whenever we used to eat our tiffin boxes or we used to have our lunch together, we used to uh, converse with each other uh, in Japanese only. And uh, all of us couldn't, the, fun, the most fun part was since all of us couldn't speak Japanese, uh, all of us just used to, you know, uh, use Hindi or, uh, or Marathi which is a uh, regional language whenever wherever we couldn't express ourselves in uh, Japanese and we used to find out the expressions that uh, we couldn't speak in Japanese which also helped us to improve, improve our vocabulary and right. expressions hmm. right you watch some movies about Japan and some J drama or something yeah uh, I used to watch J dramas since I'm not much of an anime I, I haven't seen a single anime nor have I read a single manga which right. is usually which is not very unusual yeah. for a foreigner mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I used to watch J-dramas and whenever there used to come up an expression which is used in colloquial day-to-day uh, -day life and which we can't learn in textbooks or we cannot learn in uh, any tuition or coaching class, right. I used to make a memo of it and used to use it whenever I used to talk with my friends. Okay. So, in, in life in Japan, so do you have any like problems uh, in communication? Like, communication with Japanese, it's much, you know, uh, difficult yeah. because, you know, uh, in, in Japanese, like, honne and tatama, yeah. in honest way yeah. or diplomatic way, diplomatic way. It's, 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 it's right. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, like I said, uh, I don't think there's a single foreigner who has come to Japan and yep. had everything go. As, as per he wanted, as per his wish, right. uh, like he said, uh, like you said, only uh, like putting things in a diplomatic way, like saying things even when you are not even feeling like it, right. or inviting people to dinner, inviting people somewhere even when you don't feel like it, or just because that person is superior to in you, in you, to you in position or power. Uh, is something very common in Japan and it's not very common in India because we Indians only speak our heart mm -hmm. and are brutally honest about things uh, whenever it comes to giving our opinions so that's one thing I actually couldn't understand for the first two years after I came to Japan because I was honest about everything and whenever people used to invite me somewhere mm -hmm. I used to get damn serious about it and uh, 
always used to uh, think further of it, like what to do further about that promise or where we can meet or, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that was the main problem I faced after I came here. Right, right. Okay. So, uh, the next question, uh, what about food in Japan? So, are you uh, non-vegetarian? Right. So, do you cook by yourself? Okay, uh, do you go out for Okay, something? answer the second question first. Uh, I don't cook much by myself because uh, I work here part-time at a, as a bartender in Japan uh, at a place called an izakaya, mm -hmm. which is close to a tavern uh, in England, what we call as a tavern or pub in India. Uh, and I get my dinner over there, uh, so I don't have to cook for myself. And also I get my breakfast sometimes, so normally I don't cook. Uh, and now to answer your first question, uh, yes, uh, I am a non-vegetarian in India. I eat all kinds of meat. I even eat beef, ham, pork, uh, every kind of meat, seafood, which a normal Indian person doesn't eat. So I didn't have any trouble when I came to Japan. In fact, I love the Japanese food. Like for vegetarian, you know, how how should they do in Japan? Like, do they, do yeah. they should you know should they cook by yeah. themselves? Or uh, do they have to go to like Indian restaurant to have some veggie? Uh, well, uh, that's a question. That's a question that I frequently uh, guess get asked all the time by a lot of Indian people uh, who oh. wish to come to Japan. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you one fact that I know a lot of Indians who are in Japan who are vegetarian, yeah. who don't eat meat, who don't eat fish, who don't even eat eggs. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to say that you're going to live a comfortable life in India, but it's not impossible to live in Japan. That's what I'll tell you. Obviously, it's not going to be comfortable whenever you are offered something by people. You can't eat it because most of the time it has meat inside it. So, so sometimes you'll have to refuse gifts from people because they might contain meat inside it. But again, at the same time, that doesn't mean that it's all over for you. You can't live in Japan. Right. Uh, you can. You have a lot of options at your disposal, like for example, going to Indian restaurants, mm. cooking at home. Uh, I've also heard that there are uh, some ready-to-make uh, ramens which are purely vegetarian and do not have meat inside it. Mm. So that's good news for all the vegetarian lovers out there who don't eat non-veg. And you can also buy in a variety of salads. Mm. But uh, the only problem is that your, the variety of food you can eat gets limited. So right. I think that's how we say in Japanese, when mm. you come to Japan, you should try out the Japanese food. Mm. Right. So, what is your favorite food in Japan? Oh, lots of I can go on and on. Uh, what yeah. is the best one? Well, uh, technically it's not Japanese, but I love natto. Natto? Really? Natto miso shiru. Uh -huh. yeah, made from like uh, the beans, right? Yeah. Soybeans? Yeah, I think mis miso paste. Yeah, miso paste. I don't know what mi miso is called in English. But yeah, that's miso. I love it, yeah. So, I want to know uh, what you feel about Japan. Like, uh, what is the good point, or the bad point, like, uh, something like that. Okay, uh, since I'm a very positive person, I'd like to start with the good point. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. uh, the thing I like most about uh, Japan is the way Japanese people interact right. <laughs> with each other. They are extremely humble, as opposed to us Indians. <laughs> we like to boast a lot, we like to brag about our achievements a lot. Huh. But Japanese people are really humble about how they are. They, never, they are really modest. And uh, the society is homogeneous. Um, that means there is no no potential of any strife. Strife meaning any uh, disharmony coming propping up in the society. Right. So that's what I like about the Japanese society a lot. Mm -hmm. And also the Japanese people, as you might have heard through rumors, our viewers also must be knowing about this. But they are hardworking, diligent, oh. and uh, they. Uh, are always truthful to their work is what I love about them most and I feel that we Indians can learn a lot from the Japanese people mm -hmm. and so these are basically the points I like about Japan now but I feel that the Japanese can learn from us Indians uh, to be not to be suppressive of their feelings I think they can be more free they can uh, chill out a little bit as we say uh, like Indian because uh, always being too serious is also not a good thing because it gives you stress Mm -hmm. And as you know, uh, Japan is one of the uh, countries where we witness a lot of suicides just right. because of stress. True. And True. yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. You must be knowing it better. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. it's something like yeah. half-hearted. Yeah, like exactly. Way. Right. Exactly. Yeah, you exactly. can be respectful. Exactly. So that's one of the things I think the Japanese can learn from us. Next question. Okay. Uh, the cost 
for living in Japan? How, how do you earn it? Okay, um, okay, so your question has two parts, the cost of living and how do I earn it? Yeah. I'll tell, answer the second part first. Yep. I work as a part-time uh, bartender at a place near my college and I also get a monthly scholarship of 50,000 yen uh, from a private organization called the I, I won't tell the name of the organization for some reasons I would like to keep to myself, but uh, on a scholarship and on based on my uh, part-time job. Right. Uh, now the cost of living in Japan is uh, roughly about three to four times greater than that of India. So for example, if we get milk for one liter uh, in India of in a milk packet of uh, 30 rupees, in Japan it would be about 120 rupees. Uh, so about you can uh, maybe three or the ratio is one one is to four so if India is one uh, Japan is four times that right so the final question yeah the last one yeah so <coughs> uh, in Japan so what kind of things do you want to achieve in for the future uh, okay so first of all I'd like to complete my masters and get a decent job in which maybe I can use my law the knowledge of uh, my legal knowledge legal knowledge which I'm learning right now at university right and probably after five to ten years I would like to start a restaurant of my own really not an Indian restaurant but uh, a Japanese izakaya an wow. Indian themed Japanese izakaya which is kind of a dream mm -hmm. and if I successfully get to do that I would like to build an orphanage back in my own country wow it's my dream that's very nice no, I think <laughs> yeah do you have any advice for those who want to come to Japan? Okay, uh, so the viewers of Chalo Brothers, hello uh, again. And uh, my advice to you would be to have an open mind and not get too much involved only with Indian people when you come to Japan because you've been interacting with Indian people all your life. And since you, if, if, you, if you ever get a chance to come to Japan, please interact with Japanese people more because that is what you have come for and uh, like I said have an open mind try out different things don't be like uh, I'm a non-vegetarian but I don't need this kind of meat I don't need that kind of meat I don't drink alcohol just try out everything try out because the culture uh, is very rich it has a long tradition and a long history uh, it's not similar to India but it's something worth trying out so yeah that would be my message to have an open mind very nice Right, so thank you for watching. Yeah. So please looking forward to Thanks the next watching. video. Like, so bye bye. Bye bye. Hello.